today I plan to flex around my hair okay so um, I'm gonna show you the products and the flexerod size that I'll be using. So about six pack of these, and here it has two, and two speaks into. Um, it makes reference to the diameter of the flexerod. Two. So these are the sizes that I'll be using, and in each pack I got six. So in total I'll be using thirty six flexi rods and um, if I don't get the chance to use all of them then no problem so what I'm going to use to help me form the curls is the Zimmy concentrated setting lotion and, uh, and you know uh, for the drying process I plan to use my bonnet hooded dryer right here which is um, the brand is Grantiva yes and before i do that i'm gonna ensure that i add my heat protector which is a granny fruities and let us begin all right so for starters my hair i washed it yesterday so it's only leave-in conditioner and castor oil that is in it but i didn't put a lot of oil in it because i don't want it to be too greasy for the style Alright, but I just put a sufficient amount in it. Alright, so for right here, I'm just basically going to start off with one flexi rod. Here, I'm just going to part off a small section at the front. So, I'm just going to do this one just to show you how it looks. Alright. So, I'm going to show you how it looks. Okay. Alright, I'm just going to put away the rest of the hair. You see there? Let me see everything. Alright, so with the setting lotion, they said that I have to dilute it with water. So that's what I did. Um, I put a generous amount, like about this much amount in it. Like from the bottom to right here, and the rest is water. Alright, just gonna mix it, spray it onto the ear. Ensure it is saturated with the, the solution. Okay, and then. Um, and because I want it to be secured on the flexi rod, I'm just going to go ahead and plot it right here. I'm just going to plot it down to about half inch. Okay, that's good. That's good. Generous amount from here to here. That I want the flat, the desired look. I'm just going to spread out the hair like this. And that is the key thing spread out the hair ensure it's flattened see it's flattened i'm not twisting it so it's flat right there and now i'm going to wrap it around the hair so there i am pulling on the ends okay and i'm just going to wrap this here and wrap it okay for the other section of the ear, I'm just going to speed up the video to show you how I did that. do just right here at the front and for some of the others I'm also going to do the same where I'm going to wrap more than one small sections onto a flexi rod for itself all right so 
I'm just going to again ensure it's pretty tall properly. Stretch the hair and then I'm going to wrap it onto the flexi rod right here. So I'm just going to make this come. Sorry. The hem again is to spread out the hair. So I'm just basically wrapping the hair around the flexi rod right here. I don't want it to be chunky. I want to get that spiral look. So you see me stretching the hair as I go along? This is the aim of getting a well defined curl. Okay. So I try to contain everything so that I don't get any frizz at the end. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to just secure that right there. Okay, so I'm gonna come back and show you guys how it look. This is it. Finish on the hair well wrapped around the flexi rod in total i used 30 so i still have six remaining out of the 36 that i bought all right and i'm just gonna go in and just spray my hair with the, the heat protector just give it a good yeah. okay all right and now I'm gonna open the bonnet hoodie dryer. Okay, there is a small paper inside with the instructions, and it reads as follows: It's time to convert your blow dryer into a professional hair setting system at home. We highly recommend using this product for deep treatment and styling. All right, so it says best use on dryers low to medium setting so that's the um the eat and the speed right so now it's um the third one reads higher heat setting may irritate our burn skin we don't want that all right so i'm just gonna put this one side take out the bone and sheet so this is the end piece this is the dot. These are the chin straps. These two pieces right here. These are the chin straps. This is what I would use to adjust it around my head. And this section, I'm going to put it on the blow dryer. Here is the blow dryer. I'm just going to open this just a little bit. some small holes on it so um this is to actually let out some of the hot here so inside would become too hot so i'm just gonna put this onto my head right now all right
Alright, so I'm just gonna put this right here to adjust it. Gonna put it on the second to last. Yeah, clip it down. I think I'm gonna give it about four to five hours underneath the dryer, giving it that my hair is mid back length, is thick, and it is wet. Right? And in terms of um, the curls or how I wrap the hair on the um, on the flexi rod, that I'm going to take into account also, giving it that it's closely wrapped. So I have to give it sufficient time to dry, all right? So I'm just gonna put it, all right, so I have zero, one, two for the heat and the speed. So for the heat, I'm gonna put it on one. I spent a total of four hours underneath the bonnet hooded dryer just to get the hair completely dry. So basically what I'm doing right here is just unraveling the hair in the opposite direction and I'm trying my best not to create much frizz because I'm trying to get the perfect curls and I'm just going to do the same for the other section of the hair. you see in this mm. yeah something that I do. these are the curls all and and so I'm just gonna do this yes loving the curls we see here. Okay, just gonna take on this one and just to see it in the opposite direction so I don't disturb the curls that much. Alright. Um, okay, let me just get in this one. Alright, okay, this way. Yeah. So I'm gonna take down the rest and then I'll come back. Alright? I lie. Me nah lie. Look on this. Tell me if they may not look good. No, sir. No. Seriously. Seriously. You see this? Yeah. And curl them I want. Yeah, these are the curls I want. Trust me. I'm just going to separate a few of the curls. Here at the front, I have a three strand plait. Just half inch down from the root onto the hair. So I'm just trying my best to see how I can separate the hair without disturbing the original curls that I got. And so I'm just going to take my time and separate it and style it at the end and I'm just going to let you see how that turned out. Okay, so this is it. This is what I decided to do. I made like a little bang at the front. Mm -hmm. And um, and I have my string. I just kind of carry it the side and the middle part is a bit at the back mm -hmm. this is how it looks at the back mm -hmm. so 
the most important thing guys um don't forget to like subscribe share and comment below and tell me what you think of it right i'm so loving this but um i hope it can last me for at least a week if not i'm gonna come back and tell y'all how it went and how it looked but you know this is it for now and i am pleased with the results so stay tuned until next time bye here i'm just showing you a photo of how my hair look at the end of the day i couldn't keep the bong that i had before because i was sweating and it was a really humid day and i had to just put that away and um next time what i'm planning to do is to see if i can find a better method to ensure that i keep the curls from the root to the ends but not only on the ends um here it looks okay but i wanted it to look more defined but next time i think i'm just going to do it smaller and see if i can get a long lasting wear out of it because this hairstyle didn't last me for a week i had to comb it all by thursday the latest